When using arrays, you probably should be using loops because anywhere you find an array, you should find a loop nearby like peanut butter and jelly go together. Arrays and loops are complementary also. So here we have an array and it's kind of interesting. The size is defined by a constant for good style here. I could have put the number five in there, but the word size works just as well. And now later in the program, we can easily upgrade the size of that array by just changing this later in the lifetime of this program, I meant. We could change that to 50. With one change of one constant, we could make uh, this program work for a, a bigger audience. Okay, so uh, for testing purposes, we're just going to test it with the number five in there. We've got some variables being initialized to zeros. That's great. And now we'll see uh, our old friend, the for loop. We like to use the variable name i in for loops. It's very uh, standard. We start i at zero because arrays start with their subscript positions at zero. So we start i at zero and we go less than five. In other words, less than size. Not less than or equal to, but just less than. And of course, i plus plus. So a normal looking for loop, and then inside the for loop, we're giving people that walk up to this computer the chance to enter their grades via the CN statement. But because of the use of I, it works for Shane, Ben, Dan, John, and Carly. Because I plus pluses and takes us from zero up to four. Remember, Carly's grade is in position four of the array, not position five. If I asked you in a true-false question, what's the length of this array, you would say five. If I asked you, where is the last student's grades stored, you would say position four. That off by one thing throws a lot of people uh, 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 for, for loop. It throws a lot of people off out there in the real world, pun intended. But just go to uh, Wikipedia sometime and uh, check, check uh, to see what it has to say about being off by one. Searching off by one bug brings you to the Wikipedia's uh, entry on this famous off by one error that computer scientists around the world and all, all languages, all countries, a lot of people are off by one and uh, it causes, waste a lot of money in the, out there in the real world. Sometimes it's called the fence post error. You can read about uh, why it's called the fence post error. Look right here at Wikipedia, they have a little for loop. And it's the same for loop I just used. I equals zero, I less than five, I plus plus. And they're using that as an example of how common this problem is. Anyway, back to our uh, runtime of this. Let's run the program and check to see if we get the correct average printout here. We're going to enter the grades that we used uh, in previous demo, 89, 84, 98, 85, and 60 and we get our uh, at correct average of 83.2. This version of the program is shorter for what it's worth. It still uses an array, but it could easily be beefed up and I could have 50 students, watch. Changing that one five to a 50, because of the use of the constant size here and here and here, with one addition of the digit zero, I can now run this program and it works for a, on a much larger scale. When will it stop? Oh, whenever we get to uh, position 49. There. 45.76 was the uh, average of all those uh, student grades. Please, please use constants as well as arrays and loops when you're in situations like this. In this case, we can't do a point zero here. So it just doesn't work that way. You can't change five to five point zero. You'd have to use typecasting as you saw uh, a couple minutes ago.